This is John Thompson, the superintendent for the New Haven Unified School District. And today I am outside Pioneer Elementary School and I'll be asking Principal Alde uh, 40 questions about herself and about Pioneer so we can learn a little more about Pioneer Elementary School and about Principal Alde. So here we go. Into the front door here. Morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning, Principal. Ode. How are you? Good morning, Dr. Thompson. You uh, for answering some questions this morning. Sure. Excellent. Well, why don't we start by talking about a little bit about you, and um, what did you, or how long have you been a principal here at um, Pioneer? This is my fifth year at Pioneer. Okay. What did you do before you were a principal? I was a teacher. And where did you teach? I taught at Hillview Crest Elementary, and I um, also taught in San Francisco. Okay, so it was your first teaching job in San Francisco? Yes, I taught first grade in San Francisco and some other grades. Okay, and what was your favorite subject? What If you could teach any grade level or subject, which oh, would it be? I loved uh, teaching first grade, and I kind of wasn't quite done with fifth grade. So if I had to go back to grade level, I think fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah, I kind of like the first grade. Oh, they're both good. They're both fun. Uh, where'd you go to college? I went to UC Davis. I have also gone to San Francisco State and some community colleges. Great schools. All right. And uh, what, what, did you plan on being a principal when you were in college? Oh, actually, no. I was hoping to be a, a pediatrician, but that didn't quite work out when the blood came. <laughs> And well, I my internships. now you just get skin knees and elbows and bloody noses here, more or less. So that's not quite as bad, I guess. Uh, what did you want to be when you were growing up? I actually wanted to be a pediatrician, but it was always with children. Okay. Something with children. Well, you got, you've got, now you've got children and Band-Aids, so yes. you're, you're close. Look at that. Um, what's the best part about being a principal here? Um, I think it's connecting with the kids, seeing them at lunchtime, being in classrooms, and when they're not too busy, getting an opportunity to be with the families and things like that. How about the most difficult part about being a principal? Not having enough time to do it all. That seems to be a common theme amongst our principals, and I get it. I remember myself. Uh, well, how about Pioneer? What's your favorite place in Pioneer? Actually, I can show you in a little bit. Uh, it is the Media Center. We are very fortunate in New Haven to have a Media Center. It's where the magic happens when the kids, you know, come in contact with a book and get really excited. All right. Well, you want to take a walk over there and check it out? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, I'll follow you out. Do you mind introducing your staff as we walk out? This is Ms. Rosie Thompson. Hi, Ms. Rosie Thompson. How are you? Good. Thank you. Martha is visiting us today and helping us in the office. Hi, Ms. Martha. And Ms. Green is Ms. right Green. here. Our She's on the principal. phone. Hi, Ms. Green. All right. This way. So while we're walking, uh, coffee or tea? Tea. What kind of tea do you like? Oh, I like jasmine and oolong. Loose leaf. All right, loose leaf. Mexican food or Chinese food? Can I say Filipino cuisine? Because it's a little of both, Chinese and Okay, Mexican. we'll go with that. I like that. What And what's your favorite type of uh, Filipino food? Um, I, if you've never had sisig nachos, I have to die Ooh, for it. It's nachos that's cheese, that's and sisig. Nachos sounds a little bit like you got the Mexican food. I get it. Yeah. I see Asian Mexican food style mixed in. I, I got it. Um, so, favorite pizza topping? Um, pineapple and ham. I know it's controversial, but it's the best. Oh, I like that too. Uh, steak or fish? Steak. Favorite place to eat in Union City? Um, I'm kind of in between two. I love the Din, din Ding Dumplings and also um, the Bird House. If you haven't been there, over by Alvarado. Oh, I have not been there. How about three things you can't live without? Um, something warm in my hand, a couch, and a book. Okay. What's the last book you read? Um, it was by Jody Carrington, Kids These Days. Okay. And uh, what about, uh, your, what are you streaming right now? Um, actually nothing. I haven't had time to watch TV. This is the media center where all the magic happens. You want us to take a peek? Yeah, let's go take a look. Mr. Right. Peterson. Hi, Mr. Peterson. How are you? All that magic happens. We missed all the magic. We already finished checkout. Oh. What'd you sh hold up your book? What'd you check out, everybody? Oh, 
that you know, that looks like fun. Great All right, and you have your new Promethean board going. I like that. All right. All right. Thanks for your time. Okay. So, dream car. Um, my teenage self would say it would be the BMW X5, but my older, more mature self would like to retire in a Prius. A plug-in. <laughs> plug-in. All right. Favorite movie. Um, I haven't really seen one lately. Something with sci-fi, probably. Okay. Uh, how about favorite band? Um, the James Logan High School Band. All right. <laughs> Good call. Uh, country you want to visit? Uh, Australia. Cruise, Something. cruise, or camping? Uh, does it count if it's a car cruise? Why I'm not? Driving. Why not? We'll do that. Um, let's see. Cats or dogs? I have both, so I can't say. Oh. Snow or sand? Sand. Okay. Superpower you want to have? If I could freeze time. That would be amazing. Skydiving or scuba diving? Scuba diving. Winter or spring break? Winter break. Favorite hobby? Um, anything with yarn. Okay. All right. Well, is this uh, is this where kids like to hang out? You got to know where, what's the... All right. And a big field. Nice. Some basketball courts over there. How about um, the most the the most popular food item for lunch for here for Pizza. kids? Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, that seems to be the hot top the hot lunch item everywhere. Uh, fun fact about Pioneer. We are a we used to be a, a community center that became a school. I thought okay. that was interesting. All right, and then up ahead of us, I know we have something new. Good morning. And that is our new building here at Pioneer, isn't it? So what grades are in our new building? Uh, third grade and fifth grade. Our fourth grade is in the other two-story building. Okay. And our maker space is right on the bottom. Maybe. Can we go take a look at that? Absolutely. All right. So if you were a parent, where would you drop your kid off? Uh, front of the school. We can walk over there. We uh, have a new drop-off lane, which has been amazing to help with traffic. Oh, that's always nice. So this is our maker space. All right. Let's take a look. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hello. So, makerspace, new makerspace, and these are the new interactive whiteboards we have. Looks like you guys are setting it up for us. Yes, sir. Nice. So, every classroom will have one of these. Wow, what a great space. Makes me want to come back and teach in here. All right, well, what's one thing you would tell parents if that were interested in coming here? We are a collaborative school and, and what's best about Pioneer is the partnership with our community. We have Boy Scouts and all these other groups coming in and helping us, supporting us. We have the best parents and to be honest, we have the best students. They work hard and know that mistakes are okay. Okay. We can learn from them. What's one thing you'd want to tell your students, staff, or parents, families, your I community? I am so lucky to get to come to work every day and do the things that I love and be with all of you and learn with you and grow with you at Pioneer. It's a very special place. All right. Well, I, I think that's a wrap. So thank you very much.